Father God, you are the creator of the heaven and the earth, and you have created Curacao. Lord, I want to pray for my country. Lord, I ask you for the unity in churches. Lord, they want to compete against each other. And I ask you, Lord, for unity in one spirit so they can serve and love each other, Lord. You know each heart of each pastor, Lord. Set them free, Lord. Set them free completely, Lord. Let them understand that you have called them to serve, Lord. Let them follow the example of Christ, Lord. Lord, I ask you also for the churches to be more active, Lord. They are more concentrated on the church building. Lord, they don't go out and shine the light in the midst of the darkness, Lord, and share your gospel with the people of Curacao, Lord, the lost soul, Lord, that need you, Lord, that need to know you. Move the heart of the pastor, Lord, don't let them be by themselves only in the buildings, Lord, but give them vision to go out and let them understand, Lord, the Grand Commission. Encourage the church member to be missionaries, Lord, to go out to other countries. Lord, let them understand, let each person understand that you have called them for a mission to do something here on the earth, Lord. And Lord, let them be moved by your spirit and do the things what you want them to do, Lord. I ask you, Lord, for each neighborhood, for each city in Curacao, Lord, the people that are bondage, Lord, that are slavery of the sin. Lord, I ask you to set them free, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, because, Lord, I know that you have the power. You can set people free, Lord. Lord, I ask you for our youth that don't have a relationship with you, Lord. Open their heart to receive you. I ask you for this nation, Lord, for the small Curacao with 150,000 people, Lord. Touch their life. Touch their mind. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love for my nation, Curacao. In Jesus' name, amen.